You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to BCA viewers. I have John Drazinskis, and uh, John is very involved in the community, and one of the things he's involved in the most is the VFW Post 1046 Auxiliary. I gotta make sure I say auxiliary. Yes. Because auxiliary are the members that support the veterans, right. but not veterans. Right, Fam okay. uh, family members of, uh, of veterans. Okay. Uh, I didn't serve myself, so I'm not eligible to be a member of the VFW Post, per se, but my dad was um, a World War II veteran, um, as your dad was, mm -hmm. and uh, so I'm eligible to be a member of the auxiliary. I'm a, actually a trustee of the auxiliary, an officer. So, there you go. Yeah. So you, you guys are going to try something new in October, the end of October, a professional, I'm underlying the word professional, mm -hmm. craft fair right. to support veterans. And the difference between professional and non-professional is these are people that do craft for a living. Right. A lot of people, when they hear craft fair, they think of, well, other people's uh, unmentionables or, or junk, for lack of a better term. Okay, uh, a flea market and a craft fair are two different things, mm -hmm. completely two different things. And, you know, we are looking for uh, crafters for our craft fair. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you do. Okay, we don't want... Um, national companies coming in like, um, you know, vendors for Mary Kay Cosmetics, for example. Sure. You know, I'm just using that company as an example. We would, we would like to have independent people that are there to, to show what they do. So the first thing people need to know is if they want to reserve a space, they're going to contact Gail. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gail Kubek is our um, chapter president. Okay. Her Number is area code 508-728-8023, and her email is gkubek, K-U-B-E-K, at hotmail.com. And um, we are looking for crafters. Uh, I know um, the date is, is quite a bit out. Okay, it's Sunday, October 27th, but we're trying to get prepared for this as soon as possible. Well, we're going to put this on earlier than that, not right up to it, because right. we want to help you get the craft. Right, exactly. Okay, and exactly. the way to get them is to contact Gail. She has yeah. an email as well? She has an email as well, okay, gkubek at hotmail.com. Um, we are looking for true crafters, no flea market items and no franchise vendors. And I'm going to spell Gail's last name. It's gkubek, K-U-B-E-K at hotmail.com, right. just so you don't spell it with a C. Yeah. Um, it, it, you, it's a modest donation to attend, a dollar. How, a, how can you beat that? It's a, a it's a dollar for the folks to come in the door, okay? Right. And um, the, uh, the price for the crafters to uh, reserve a table would be $30. That's, the, and, and, they can make way that, more than $30 if, oh, if, absolutely. if we have professional crafts, men and, that, and women. And that price of $30 is, is pretty, pretty much in the ballpark. It's pretty average for other craft fairs. I've gone to a lot of events over there, and you guys always really try to keep your costs reasonable, both for the people participating we, we do. that go and the people that are exhibiting. This is a first, though. This is the first time that you've done this, yes, right? Because yeah. you've done other events. This type of fundraising event, it's the first time we're trying this. So um, hopefully it'll be a success. And if it is, we will continue to do it um, at least once a year. You're gonna have an auction, handmade items donated by the vendors. So you're gonna yep. have a chance, you can buy items, yep. or you can take a chance. Exactly. Or not take a chance, you, you bid for them. Right. You do an auction. Right. There's going to be a cash bar. Yep, and 100% of the proceeds from that cash bar go to the veterans, as well as the event in general. And there's food. There's food, okay. I'm not sure. Uh, I believe the veterans themselves will be, um, will be um, cooking in the kitchen. They'll have things like burgers and hot dogs and pizza and that type of thing. Some light stuff. October sounds like a good month for chili, so I'll put in. A, I'll put in a call <laughs> okay. for chili. Okay. okay. Um, so, uh, tell us, John, what do you like about this event? I know Cheryl Lee it does a lot of uh, crafting herself. Um, yeah, my li my longtime life partner, Cheryl Lee uh, Hopwood. Um, she's very much into. Knitting, crocheting, um, quilting, and sewing in general. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she wanted a table herself. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, 
you know, this is, this is something that she and her friends will certainly enjoy. Well, if you look at the quality of what she does, I'll vouch for her because I got a couple <laughs> Thank of ties you. Thank you. that are political in nature. Yep. Um, maybe we need some veteran oriented ones to go with it. Some you patriotic know, white and some, blue patriotic, some patriotic stuff sure, because sure. you know, it I'm always proud of the flag. Yep. of this country yep. and, and, and the, the way this whole country was formed, a, a nation of immigrants. Mm -hmm. And um, again, I didn't serve either John. Um, luckily, during my time frame, when I was draft eligible or even eligible, there were no conflicts. Right. It, it went between Vietnam and the Gulf, first Gulf War. Right. So I was already a has-been at that point. Yep. But I really admire the people um, some of them get out and uh, some are wounded, like disabled veterans. Some go on to law enforcement careers, police and fire and, and first responders. Absolutely. And yeah. anybody that's gone. I have had some of my best students at Massasoit are veterans. Right. We have a veteran center over there. And um, I, I listen to their stories and I encourage them when they take the speech class to talk about their stories so I can know more about what they went through and, 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 and why they were called to service. I know a lot of them over the years, they got called when we got attacked on 9-11. 9-11, People sure. just jumped in and enlisted. There was no draft at that point, but people served. Yep. The first Gulf War, um, they were over in Afghanistan, they are over in, uh, why am I forgetting, the second war? Uh, Iraq. There? Iraq, yeah. okay. And um, United States is always the country that comes to everybody's aid and defense. And yes. something special to be said about anybody that's a, a veteran. Uh, the, we have a top-notch VA here. We, we, you know, Mark, we wouldn't enjoy the freedoms we do in this country if it wasn't for the veterans, mm -hmm. the men and women. You know, and, um, you know that, that, go, uh, that goes for, uh, for, for all the wars, you know, right, right, up to, right up to the present. And I really applaud the group because there aren't always enough services for veterans. And some veterans have financial needs, and, and, and you guys are there to help answer the call exactly. in a different way and take care of them and support them. Um, I know our Masonic Lodge goes there and does Sunday services, brings veterans to chapel. Right. And when my dad was in the VA for a whole four days in the hospice unit, second to none. Brockton VA is a wonderful VA. It's not any of the horror stories you hear from around the country. Exactly. And that's because we have a congressman who's on the Veterans Affairs Committee, so that doesn't hurt. Yeah, right? no, it doesn't hurt at all. So just to recap one more time, a professional craft fair to support veterans at the VFW Post 1046, 283 North Quincy Street in Brockton, Sunday, October 27th, 10 to 3. If you want to reserve a space, you're going to contact Gail at 508 728-8023 or email her at gkubek, K-U-B-E-K, at hotmail.com. Something for everybody, definitely be there. Don't miss it. Thanks, John. Good You're to welcome. See you. You're welcome. Thank you Always for having me on. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.